Mmm, delicious. Of course, if the worst case scenario comes into effect, we won't be served food like this. You can't cook it. Now, Byte Magazine, which is a technical computer journal, calls the Y2K a crisis without precedent in human history. All right. This is a computer magazine. Maybe they're saying that to engender some kind of panic, so we'll spend lots of money on computer stuff. That's to their benefit. However, Fortune magazine, which is hardly a, a, a radical left-wing uh, journal of any type trying to stir up all kinds of problems, says that the uh, Y2K is the biggest screw-up of the computer age, and it also says that it may cost $1 trillion to fix. A trillion dollars is twice what the entire Vietnam War cost the U.S. Do you see any problems outside of your own sphere? With yes. Are you worried about... Uh, bank machines crashing, uh, bank systems crashing, government systems crashing, everything. Mm -hmm. Anything that's not, that hasn't been uh, debugged. Okay, computers everywhere. The military. We're talking about, in the U.S. anyway, we're talking about intercontinental ballistic nuclear missiles. I'm not worried, are you? You're not worried at all? You haven't done any preparations? No. So, almost anything that you can think of that has some electric current running through it these days has a piece of a computer, a, a computer chip, a, some aspect of computer technology. In the meantime, why worry? Why not just have some french fries? As North Americans, we're used to buying our meals at fast food restaurants probably for the most part, and if not, we go to the grocery store and we buy the ingredients for our meals there or something to pop into the microwave, but the microwave doesn't work anymore. In fact, the cash registers don't work the suppliers can't get supplies to the grocery stores. We can't buy anything because there's nothing left on the shelves. People have already stockpiled uh, fast food restaurants or restaurants in general have nothing. They can't serve, never mind even get the supplies that they need to create the meals in the first place. What are we going to do about food? Well, I guess we could travel back to our forefathers' time when hunting for a living was a viable vocation. If you've got a rifle lying around the house, and enough ammunition to last indefinitely, it might be an option. Hey, look, there's a goose. Ooh, take off the safety. Quick, get in the way. Missed. Oh, well. My trusty spear and uh, my club, I am not worried about this at all. I, am, uh, I live in a hunter-gatherer existence, so uh, electronics and the like don't bother me. Hi, my name is Sergeant Andre Gertin. I'm a media relations officer for the RCMP in Ottawa. I think that what we, what we have seen in last year's ice storm in eastern Canada could potentially, be, uh, could potentially happen uh, in diff different areas of the country. If, for example, one of the power grids fails, um, we've, we've seen what uh, going without power can do uh, to Canadians in the middle of winter. We, as members of the RCMP, um, will be working because all of the uh, the annual leave have been frozen for the period of December 27 uh, until uh, until March 31st of the year 2000. Uh, normally, uh, you know, we prepare for for uh, usually uh, things such as natural disasters like floods or earthquake and there's contingency plans for that we just don't know when it's going to happen in the case of year 2000 we know it precisely when it will happen we just don't know what will happen that we will be there we will be ready uh, to provide uh, a service to Canadians um, the service that they've expected uh, out of their national police force You know, life out here in the country is not so bad. I mean, if we had a wood stove, hunting for our food, maybe Y2K wouldn't be such a problem. Could get used to country living. Hey, who's that down there? I wonder if that's Mike. Hey, who are you? What are you doing out there? My name is Mike Ecklin. I'm a uh, computer programmer systems analyst. I uh, own a company called Yeovil Systems Research and Development. Uh, we're currently doing a uh, year 2000 uh, research. Can you tell us about this new bug you've discovered? There's actually three or four year 2000 bugs. 
the uh, one that most people hear about or are working on is what we call the rollover problem. Basically, when your computer gets and tries to go from 1999 to year 2000, sometimes they go to 1900 instead of 2000. The problem that we're working on the most is a year 2000 bug called the Crouch-Eklin effect. It's named after the two co-discoverers, uh, Jace Crouch and myself. Jace discovered this problem when he was doing a standard year 2000 rollover test. Smart. Mike, Y2K is a leap year. Is that an issue? Year 2000 is a leap year. Uh, as uh, the rule goes, every four years, except every hundred years, except every 400 years. So every fourth year is, but 1900 wasn't, but 2000 is. And some programs don't recognize that 2000 is a leap year. Well, is that going to be a problem for smelters? There was a smelter in New Zealand in 1996. And 96 was a leap year, but the operating system for that smelter didn't know that there was 366 days. So when the 366th day came, nothing seemed to work right, and it caused something like $3 million worth of damage. Well, what are you doing out there, Mike? Why don't you come on inside for some coffee or something? In North America, we're quite lucky to be surrounded by fresh water. Almost anywhere that we live, there's lakes, rivers, and streams. So maybe we're not to be too worried about being able to have something to drink. Ooh, wait a minute. There's no way I could drink this. I'd have more parasites in me than are on Parliament Hill. These are the buildings from which all the legislation emanates, the, the regulation of our lives, the taxation, social control everything that that we're legally beholden to. Imagine, if you will, that the Y2K bugs have eliminated all mention of you from government records. You're not only not going to receive your pension, you're not going to be taxed for it. So have you two heard of the Y2K computer bug before? Yeah, a little bit. You know about that? From yes. internet. Yeah, oh, from okay. Internet. Have you done anything yourselves to prepare for? Uh, not oh, yet. No. <laughs> Are you worried about the problem? Mm. Um, actually, for me, know. not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I you, guess you know, as usual. 